Mistakes. We all make them, whether it be leaving an assignment for the day before it's due or accidentally throwing away your favorite Pokemon card. We have all done something that we have looked back on and wondered, what was I thinking? And I am no exception. I have done a lot of regretful things in my life, and on May of 2016, I did probably my worst mistake ever. The week prior to that day, I was getting hyped up for an event called Skills Alberta that was being hosted at my capital city, Edmonton. For those who don't know, Skills is pretty much like the Olympics, but for job skills. And I, believe it or not, was representing my school for 2D animation. I was really pumped to go since this was going to be my second year of competing, the last being my first year of animating, when suddenly the unsuspected happened. Around this time, a huge forest fire broke out north from Edmonton. At first, I was a little worried that this might affect my skills competition, but was like, nah, what could possibly go wrong? So during class four days before the competition, a phone call was made to my classroom. The teacher went to pick it up. I didn't pay too much attention to this, but after she hung up, she went and looked at me and said, skills is canceled. At first, I thought this was a joke, but nope. It was actually cancelled. The reason why is because the town affected by the forest fire took shelter at the expo which our event was supposed to take place in. Which kind of sucks because the people hosting skills tweeted that the forest fire will not affect the competition the day before it got cancelled. And that really got to my nerves but it wasn't like I could be mad under the situation. Later that day I went home and my brother came into my room and asked if I wanted to come to the lake with him. To me I was like, you know what, I should go to clear my mind. So I went with him to our community lake. After arriving my brother was off taking photos around and I decided to go kayaking while listening to music out loud. Kayaking by yourself is really calming, just being in the middle of the lake was really nice. Eventually I started heading back to shore. And as I got closer, I noticed that there was a lot of people out today at the lake. I felt as so to change my music because it was not age appropriate for kids since I was playing it out loud. So I flipped through my music and finally was satisfied with Counting Stars by One Republic and went to put my phone back into my pocket. Now, I don't know what happened next. Either I didn't put my phone into my pocket or I just missed my pocket entirely. But in due time, I began to hear my music fading away. At first I was like, huh, is someone calling me? And I went to feel if my pocket was vibrating. As I reached and placed my hand onto the side of my pocket, I quickly realized that my phone was not there. I quickly looked around to then realize, oh, my phone wasn't being called, it was drowning. Motherfuck! to say the less, my parents got pretty mad at me and I was scolded pretty hard for it. Can't blame them, it was a really dumb mistake and it was a pretty nice phone too. Slowly over time I had to explain the story to my friends and to this day it has became a laughing joke in my friends group. Yeah. Hey viewers. I just wanted to quickly say thank you for the 200 subs. It has been almost two years since I made this channel and I'm very happy to see that 200 of you guys like my content. If you guys would like to see more of these storytelling slash animated vlog type of videos, please leave a like and a comment down below. If you guys aren't already, please subscribe to my channel and click that bell icon to be notified when I upload. Since I'm an animator and a university student now, I won't be uploading that much, so the extra notification for when I will upload will really help me out. Thanks again, so long, farewell, and I'll see you guys next upload.